2024 and I've got Jill Corey with me. How are we doing? I'm doing great. I've just come you, off stage. You have. We've dabbed you straight off. <laughs> you, that looked like a vibe out there That was as a well. party out there. Literally, how was that for you? There's people on shoulders, balls getting thrown. It was a good vibe. Like, it's amazing. It, I can't remember the last time I played in Wales, but it was a while ago. Yeah. Every time I come to Wales, the yeah. Welsh crowd is just one of the best in the world. They Ready always go off. They're sort for it. And listen, the sun is shining. The vibes are amazing. Vibes it feels like the start of summer festivals right now. That's it. And we're like midway through the day as well. Do you know what I mean? People out there are getting ready. They've it, had a bear, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such a good setting and an amazing weekend. And I'm so happy to be back, you know, in the UK as well. I've been touring around the world so much recently. Yeah. So it's a special for me because I'm back on home soil. And you know, it's just amazing to be here and be back in Wales and kicking it off. Exactly. I mean, a world tour. I mean, I knew you were on a world tour because your social media job, but I also knew because I'm very pale and you're quite tan. <laughs> so I feel like you're showing it all off here, but you've been absolutely everywhere. How has it been? It's, it's incredible. Like, I'm so grateful to lead this life. You know, DJ is my hobby since I was a teenager. Yeah. And now I get to go around the world and, and do what I love to do. And not a lot of people can say that. So absolutely. I'm grateful for that. You know, I've just been to. In the last four weeks, I've literally been around the world. I played in Miami, then I played in Dubai, wow. then Australia, then China. I was literally around the globe. No downtime there. That's just like. And I never, I never thought, you know, I'd ever make it to a stage in China like, where absolutely. people would know my music. So it's... I saw the video you put on social media of that as well. It looked like it went absolutely off, which yeah. was incredible. It was, it's it so was, cool. it was... was the food good as well? Because I saw you munching on some food while you were there. Do you know what? The food was good, but my chopsticks <laughs> oh, no. technique needs some work. Oh, okay. I was struggling. You got showed up. <laughs> <laughs> He's, that's the next thing. Joel Curry on chopsticks. Am I the only one that doesn't know how to use chopsticks? No, like... I probably should as well. Oh, okay. so it's a Two of us then. Yeah, I just hope for the best time. It's like that's the way. But you did the BAFTAs as well recently, yeah. which looked really fun. Yeah, it was it was a good day out. Um, you know, suited and booted. Um, and it was like it was great to be you know at the ceremony and watching everyone get their awards. Absolutely. Um, and then afterwards, I played at the after party, and it was really good fun. I just literally played like bangers. Yeah, that's what they want, well, they want yeah. to hear. In their it, suits as well, looking all smart, I love it. Yeah, it was really good fun. It was almost like DJing at like a wedding back yeah. in the day. Everyone <laughs> just it. wanted those sing-along bangers. And it like, everyone was just like, we were having a great time, the drinks were flowing, and yeah, it was a, a proper good celebration. Yeah. Absolutely, and as well, because Stay Together's gone down so well as well. I mean, that is yeah. absolutely tuned as well. Oh, thank you, yeah, so I mean, um, you know, that record obviously is a rework of Corona Baby Baby, yes. which is a banger from the 90s. and. Um, you know, I made an edit of it last summer when I was in Ibiza and I was yeah. playing it in my sets. Yeah. And it was really like going off, right? And yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, I'd be so good to actually like release this properly. So I spent sort of the next few months after Ibiza, um, you know, working it up and we had Vula do the re-vocal on it and, um, got, you know, got the got the clearance to release it. And yeah, just, it's just a nice little sort of club banger to get out there. That's it. Because well, when you were kind of DJing in your bedroom and stuff, were these some of the tracks that you were like working with and you yeah. were like, wow, one day I can rework this myself? Yeah, like, totally. I'm a bit, and I'm a big, I'm a big fan of those 90s bangers, you know, oh, yeah. and, and they're really coming back at the moment. Like they they're getting sampled left, right and centre. This is it. Um, people want to, people want to hear that nostalgia. Oh, they wanna, definitely. They want to hear that thing that they kind of recognise it, but then it's kind of my job to put like a fresh spin on it That's so it. you know it's reinvented for 2024 definitely and i think tiktok helps that as well because it brings it into a new generation as well doesn't yeah. it and it kind of pushes it out there yeah. which i think is really yeah, cool yeah tiktok you know the effect it's had on the music industry is insane you know music is more accessible than ever right it now it really is isn't it it's like yeah and it just everything blows up as well i mean the sugar babes who are playing tomorrow i mean i think push the button we had a little resurgence like recently yeah. as well yeah. like, it, is, we are. it is like they so, call it the magic of tiktok you know sometimes yeah. some things just magically start trending and That's start it. spreading and the next thing they're the biggest song in the world That's it, yeah. <laughs> here we go it's back, it's back. <laughs> but you've had that you've worked with some great people as well obviously m, m and ek on um, um, head and heart what a what a bloody two night I, I was listening to ivory i was like here we yeah. go summer is here but charlie xcx as well yeah. yeah i mean all these names i mean you've achieved so much as well it's only going to get even more bigger for you so it's uh, i appreciate that yeah i mean i'm you know i'm so lucky to have worked with such an amazing a uh, group of artists over the last few years. You know, yeah. It's beyond my wildest dreams that this has happened. And, yeah. and um, you know, every single record that I've done with the people that you mentioned has been special in their own right. And they all go on their own little journeys. Yeah, that's it. And Nathan Doris, are you going to be joining him and Ibiza Rock soon? Yeah, that's going to be what a duo. What a yeah, duo yeah. that is. No, that's my boy. What people yeah. don't realise about me and Nathan is, you know, I've been DJing on the club circuit for over 15 years. I'm going to get an old yeah. now, 35 and a few years. <laughs> I feel, yeah, right. it's time sticking on, isn't it? Um, but like, you know, for in my early 20s especially you know i was a resident dj at a high street clubs so yeah. out on the party island resorts like yeah. zanti and malia and magaluf and so was nathan yes. and me and yeah. nathan were like resident club djs at the clubs next door to each other Aww. 
So we kind of like had the same journey. Yeah. And now we're like here together. We're making records together. We've got residents together in Ibiza. That's incredible. So me and him have got like a special bond because we, you know, we kind of went through that journey together. I love that. I think that's what the nicest thing is when you're coming up with someone else. Yeah. And, they're all, and you're all in it together, right? Yeah, without, at without at, at festival, one point, but... we were like rivals. Yeah, really? Were you uh, like, oh, you, when you rise it, aren't it you? It was like, because like, oh. I had my residency and he had his one. It yeah. was like, you know, you know, it was my night versus his night. <laughs> yeah. So um, up, but... <laughs> and, but, you know, we both always like had a lot of respect for each other. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, we then both got signed by the same record label, Atlantic Records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and ended up then working together on 0800 Heaven, which was a huge hit record last year. Yeah. And now we're, you know, in Ibiza together this summer. Yeah. It's, ama it's an amazing journey and, you know, I've got a lot of love and respect for him. Absolutely. And it's so well deserved as well. I mean, you've worked so hard over the years as well. Like, like you just said, I mean, like, it's incredible. And your little teenage self must be, like, inside, <laughs> just must be so happy. And oh, you totally, so you know, I, like, totally. And I always, I'll never forget that either. Like, no. it, even in the moments where, like, because it's not all glamorous, you know, like yeah. um, going around the world and traveling a lot, it, you know, there is like a side to it. That's, it's that, a lot. It's, it's, it's a, a lot. It's craft. It's Absolutely, and it's a grind. Yeah. And people don't really see that side of it. No, that's um, it. But in those moments, I'm always like, Joel, don't ever, ever complain about anything. <laughs> yeah. Just remind yeah, yeah. yourself. Like, Good for you. Keep it grounded. Remember that boy in his bedroom DJing. That's it. Like, this is you now. And so. you're here with a tan looking lovely, <laughs> but in the sunshine as well. You're going all over the place. And you are and you brought the sun out for us in Wales. Yeah, so I'm so glad, go. you know, because, you know, yeah. UK festivals are so hit and miss. Oh, my gosh, weather. yesterday I wasn't sure. Oh, See, really? I was out. Oh. Uh, we were driving on the M4 and it was the... the Clouds are great, and I was oh, like, oh, yeah. no, please don't rain. No, yeah. Come and on, look at come it now. on. It's I literally know. It's bright time. blue sky. That's it. Rag and, they're coming up for Rag and Boat. It's just a good lineup today. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Everyone's here for it. Yeah, so. I've just seen him, actually. It's the first time I met him. Oh, no way. Yeah, I had to get a picture because I'm a fan. Oh, and do you know so. what? It'd be so sick if you worked together. That would be baller. Yeah, That'd yeah. Well, so he just done a banger with Calvin. Yes, he's done, he's done he a couple, has. hasn't he? So, yeah, that's so it. So he's obviously, he loves his dance music as well. So you never know, man. There you go. Like you've said hello now. That's the way backstage at festivals where it all happens, where the beauty goes on. Well, Joel, thank you so for joining me and go and enjoy the rest of your weekend in the sun and good luck with the rest of the year as well it sounds so oh, exciting thanks. for thanks you thanks so thank much for having me I had the best time oh, and uh, yeah you. enjoy the rest of your weekend too thank you so much